Welcome back. What results did you find in your leaf pigmentation experiment? After I set up my experiment two weeks ago, I also ran two red types of leaves to see if we'd get different pigments resulting from those two tests. And these are the results. As you can see, the pigments in the leaves have drifted up the filter paper as the solution has been absorbed and the molecules have filtered out. This is called a chromatogram. The different leaf types have given slightly different results. You should see in all your leaves green chlorophyll. That's the pigment that enables photosynthesis. But could you work out any other pigment types? Hopefully, you'll have seen different pigments separate out as the solution is absorbed by the filter paper and travels up. This is called a chromatogram. You should see green chlorophyll, the pigment that enables photosynthesis. But you might also find yellow xanthophylls, orange carotenes, reddish anthocyanins, and even dark purplish-brown tannins. I can see quite different results in the three different types of leaves that I used for my experiment. In this one here, you can see that there's a band of green chlorophyll, and above that, the yellow xanthophylls. In this one here, I used the red leaves of an acer tree. As you can see, we've got a green band at the bottom, then the orange carotenes, then the red anthocyanins above. The red anthocyanins are thought to serve as a form of protection against certain light wavelengths. And in this one here, we've got a different color profile with a larger band of anthocyanins and possibly some of those darker tannins appearing at the top. Tannin is used by plants because it has a bitter taste and it's thought to deter herbivores that would otherwise eat the leaves. What results did you get from your experiment? Did you find different color patterns with the different types of leaves that you used? Let's now look at some of the photographs that were sent in over the last two weeks.